The council race overturned after an election rigging scandal and the changes that will go into effect tomorrow. This is NBC4 News at 6. And we begin now at 6 o'clock with that contested city council election in Compton. Good evening. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. We're also streaming right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. A judge has ordered a councilman there be removed from office and replaced by the person the judge said was actually elected. NBC4's iTeam says it's a real case of voter fraud here that's already led to criminal charges. Our investigative reporter Eric Leonard now with more on who will take office tomorrow. I am overwhelmed with joy. Like uh, my, I'm, I'm just so happy and relieved that it's finally uh, concluded. This is Andre Spicer, who for nearly a year has been challenging the results of last year's council race and who's finally been vindicated. This is a chance for the people to actually win and, and, and be represented here. Um, and, and they voted for it. And, you know, the votes... You know, they matter. This ruling, issued from L.A. Superior Court last Friday, has directed that Councilman Isaac Galvan, seen here in a 2017 interview, be removed from his seat as the representative for the city's second district because some votes cast for Galvan were illegal, submitted by people who didn't live in Compton. The ruling says the court finds that four illegal votes were cast. That's for Galvan in the June 2021 election where he won by a single vote. And the court declares contestant, meaning Spicer, elected to the Compton City Council, representing the second council district. The court found the final vote count is 854 to 851 in favor of Spicer. I, I knew that there was something wrong uh, with, in the general election. Uh, I won by uh, you know, a lot of votes in the primary, but in the general, I lose by one vote. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office charged Galvan last August in connection with the same election. He's accused of conspiracy to commit election fraud and attempted bribery for allegedly trying to bribe an L.A. County Registrar employee who was counting the ballots on election night. Galvan and others accused have pleaded not guilty and are awaiting trial. Last Wednesday, police in Downey said Galvan's council aide, a man named David Marvin Blake Jr., shot and killed a man on Carfax Avenue during a fight. Blake Jr. was arrested and is being held in lieu of $2 million bail. He's also the son of noted rapper and music producer DJ Quick, seen here in photos with Galvan. Spicer, who says he campaigned for office with the hope of restoring the public's trust, says he's eager to finally get to work. And it gives people hope again, you know, uh, that, that somebody's there representing to them. We haven't been able to reach Galvan about the election ruling or the arrest of his aide last week. His phone answers with a recording that says it's unable to accept calls and Compton City Hall is closed for the holiday. Andre Spicer is said to be sworn in tomorrow afternoon at Compton City Hall. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.